So we want to find an equation for the tangent line of this equation at x equals 0. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to write up the equation for a tangent line, y equals mx plus b, where we have m as the slope, oh, well, slope, we'll use that finding calculus, and then at the end we'll find b. I'm going to start with the slope because that's the hard one, and I like to do the hard part first. It's not that hard, we can do this. So, to find the slope, we're going to start by finding dy dx, or y prime of x, or y prime, and, or the derivative of y with respect to x. And so we're going to take the derivative of the first part, and then that's going to be the and then derivative of the second part. So this part, and then that part. So we'll have 8 cosine of x minus 6 sine whoop, whoop, of x. And we don't have to worry about the product rule or chain rule or anything like that, because we know the derivative of uh, sine of x, we know the derivative of cosine of x, something you should have memorized. And since they're not multiplied together, they're just added, we can do them each individually. So not too bad, not too bad at all. So this is our um, derivative of y with respect to x, y prime of x. But now we want to find y prime at our specific point, 0. So y prime of 0, which will be 8 cosine of 0 minus 6 sine of 0. Change colors for the canceling. Ooh, green. This will go to 0 because sine of 0 is 0. This will go to 1 because cosine of 0 is 1. And so we know that the y prime at 0 is 8. So that gives us that our slope at this point is 8. So now we want to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to draw a picture real quick. So we have a slope of 8. And so I'm going to make it kind of like that. And we want to find that point right there. So what we're going to do then is we know our point x here. So we know the point x is going to be 0. And then, so we're going to have to find, we can find this point y right there. To find this y, we're going to go back to our original equation up here. So when we plug in our point 0, we get y equals 8 sine of 0 plus 6 cosine of 0. Do the canceling again. I like green. We'll go so good. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. And so we have y equals 6. So now we go down to this point over here. And we know that this point right here is going to be 0, 6. Okay. So now we know that that point is going to be in common with both our curve, I'm going to say it looks like this, and our tangent line. So we can take our tangent line, come down here, y, which we now know is, whoop, I know, so messy, so messy, I should be more organized. y, which we now know is 6, equals m, which is 8, and we're going to multiply that by x, which we know is 0, plus b. This part is just 0, so b will equal 6. Putting this all together, we now know that the equation for this line will be y equals 8x plus 6. I'm going to do a quick, uh, I'm going to go quickly over to Wolfram, just kind of make sure I'm not going crazy here. y equals 8, nope, 8 sine of x plus... 6 cosine of x, we get, bum bum bum, a graph that looks like this. And like, yeah, it goes up to 10. So maybe at this point, it almost looks like 8 would almost be reasonable, because that's like 6 over here, 10 up there. Yeah, I believe that the slope is 8 at that point right there. So the slope at this, for this equation, at x equals 0, will be y equals 8x plus 6. So to kind of recap what we did here, I know, terrible jumble. Hope your work is nicer than this. So we started with what the equation of a line is, y equals mx plus b. We find m, the slope, using the derivative. We then find out b, because we know this is, there's going to be a common point between the tangent line and the curve. And we find we, we we're already given one point, or one coordinate, x equals 0. And then we find the y 
portion of that point by plugging that that zero back into our original equation. We then do some algebra and we find the equation of the line y equals mx plus b is y equals 8x plus 6. Hope that helped. See you next time.